So this is question number four. You ready? The question is, your next task is to help plan the schedule for art day using the information from the task two schedule. Create a schedule for your class to follow on art day and you must follow the order given in the table. Okay, so we're gonna create a schedule. So there's no right or wrong answer to this, but we have to look at the information and make sure that we plan the schedule using the information that they've given us. So it says the first piece of information is that the day starts at nine and ends at two. So we have a start time of nine and we have an end time of two. Next it says your entire class will rotate through the three stations together. So that means they're going to go from painting to their break to pottery to lunch to chalk art. So the end time for each activity needs to be the same as the start time for the next activity so that they'll go right from one activity to the next. The break has to be at least 10 minutes. The break and lunch together total one hour. And the three stations, painting, pottery, and chalk art, do not need to be the same amount of time but each one has to be 30 minutes or longer. Okay, so we have our start and end time, nine and two. The first activity is painting. I really love painting. It doesn't tell me how long it has to be, but it does say that the three stations, painting, pottery, and chalk art, do not need to be the same amount of time, but each one has to be 30 minutes or longer. So let's say they go to painting for an hour and a half. So if they start at nine, then that means they would end at 10.30. They're going to rotate through all of the stations together, so if they end painting at 10.30, that means they're going to start the next activity, which is their break, right afterwards at 10.30. And let's see what it says about the break. It says the break has to be at least 10 minutes. The break and lunch together total one hour. So if we give them, let's give them a 15 minute break. And so, 10.30, break starts. If it's 15 minutes long, that means it ends at 10.45. If the break ends at 10.45, and they're gonna go straight to the next activity, which is pottery, that means it's gonna start at 10.45. So each of the activities, it says again, each one has to be 30 minutes or longer, but they don't need to be the same amount of time. So we painted for an hour and a half. And let's do pottery. Let's do pottery all the way up to lunch. And let's take lunch at 12.15. So that means we're doing pottery for an hour and a half also. So if we finish pottery at 12.15, that means we're gonna start lunch at 12.15. It says that the break and lunch together total one hour. So we said that the break was 15 minutes from 10.30 to 10.45, so that means lunch will have to be 45 minutes, so that it will total 60 minutes, one hour. So if lunch is at 12.15, and lunch is gonna be 45 minutes long, then that means lunch is gonna be over at one o'clock. And if lunch is over at one, the start time for their last station is going to be one o'clock, and then the end time is two o'clock. So that last station, chalk art, will last one hour. So let's go back and check our work and make sure that we've followed the plan. So the day starts at nine and it ends at two. The entire class rotates through the three stations together. Yes. The break has to be at least 10 minutes. We have a break from 10.30 to 10.45, that's 15 minutes, so yes. The break and lunch together total one hour. So the break is 15 minutes. Lunch is 45 minutes. So combined, it's one hour. Check. The three stations, painting, pottery, and chalk art, do not need to be the same amount of time, but each one has to be 30 minutes or longer. So painting is an hour and a half. Pottery is an hour and a half. And then chalk art is an hour. So each one is 30 minutes or longer check. So this is one example of an art day schedule that we can create that meets all of the requirements for art day. And you could come up with a different schedule. And that's it for problem four.